Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this video, I am going to show you how to install the Rabbit MQ. This is the latest version server on Ubuntu 20.04, which I am installing. You can also install in Debian Linux Mint. Method or same procedure, same for this installation. And uh, this is officially website for this Rabbit MQ. So this is the binary which I am going to first add it here. So let's start it's from this three. Anyone you can copy and uh, paste it from any one of three. You can copy and paste it here. So once it's copied, so for sickle is means the 20.04 the version which I am using. Okay. So uh, according to that one, LSB automatically it will detect it. So just add the key here, which I am going to add it here. And the previous video I've shown you how to install the airline, but now here I am going to show you how to install the RabbitMQ. Then we need to add the call here command. So sorry, that is any three one you can use. Okay, the same one. The third one is to update it. Okay, so type sudo apt update. So once it get updates, when install the RabbitMQ, either you can use this one command or this one command. Okay, any one you can use the command for the installation. So let's wait for a few minutes until it get update the command here. Got this error. So actually, it's had been the RabbitMQ still they have not released or update the. 20.04 for that one update so i'm going to install this one the binary of 18.04 okay so it's has been added let's update it uh, because so many open source software has been not updated their uh, ubuntu 20.04 supported key or the installation so here it has been added so we need to ignore all those things here and 18.04 supporting to these or uh, ubuntu 20.04 okay so this is uh, installation command which i'm using here so it will be installing here so once it get installed this is the configuration file so 18.04 will be used and init 15.20 i bit okay the following new package will be installed so depend on our internet connectivity it's may take a little bit time here so once set calculator we need to open this configuration file of RabbitMQ, and then we need to remove the uncomment the limit line that's it then we need to enable or start okay then after that i will show you about that one so it may 46 48 percent completed so let's wait a few minutes So I'm packaging here now. Download completed and packaging. User automatically editing here and the group also rabbit empty with the names creating it. Set tapping here here. Then symbolic link also is creating it. that means shortcut link here also creating. Now we need to open the configuration file where which I've said you just copy in the file here and uh, we need to uh, uncomment the here you limited okay I'm just removing this one okay then saving here with the control X saving now I'm going to enable the service so either you can use this one command or this one here anyone you can use that command and then we need to start it here so just I will put it here easily now remove the enable type start now we need to check the status here as you can see the rabbit MQ is working it's running you can see this is the active is showing here active and this all or the website of that one okay now this is for the stopping service and restart service 
now this is auto restart that means once when, whenever we restart the laptop or server means just enable these two commands so that it at, it will be automatically start on boot time so okay so now let's check again the status it will be showing only fine and then we need to now we need to set up the management console the rabbit uh, rabbit mq server installation part has been finished now we need to set up the management console this is the command which we need to enable the management console here so while typing it's enable the rabbit mq here applying so this has been completed three plugins have been started the management the management agent and the web dispatch this one enable okay and then now we need to copy this permission okay so just giving the permission here so the permission vary is going to is if we go to this location that means cd where and then lift then if we type ls hyphen ltr so you can see there will be a rabbit will be come here with the name oh you need to just search this r here so not getting the part okay directly we'll go see you can see this is the permission we have given to the okay now create a new user so this is the default create user the user default will be the guest and the password will be guest if we go to the browser here so just type the localhost or ip address of that my machine if i type ipa ipa or if config so this is my system ip is there just copy and uh, we need to seek the port number here is the 15672 is the port number of the rabbit mq please remember 15 six seven two is the port number for and if you just type guest here username and the guest here and login here so in place of that local host type and type guest here also use guest so you can see this has been login and if you want to create the new user the version you can see 3.8.4 airline version 23 and if i go to admin here i can add the new user also here okay from here also we can add the new user and from here also we can create the new user and this is actually command to create a new user okay just copy this command and paste it in terminal replace it clotnet with your any username which you want to create it okay and uh, you can set this administrator that is under the role of this it cloud net it will become under the administrator okay so tax that means and this is the permission by default is there. just copy and paste it here no need to do anything and uh, this is the same command is there no need to do anything here same is there and this is the password for the user at the cloud net just replace the with your username here and give the strong password here whatever you give the password just give a strong password here and this is tagging to the uh, username to the administrator here okay so this one is the admin we have target here this command is work for admin okay and this one is work for the uh, user separate user if not creating please okay just follow this one and this for the admin account only to command work and this one is a permission setting okay so i'm doing this one not work it will not require okay so this is the checking the port number of the in our terminal what it's showing you just type it check what it's listening or not so you can see it's listening to 156 port number okay now now after that this is a firewall to allow port to any port 156 is there and just go into that port number or local host host name or you can use a host name or ip address just now if you know just follow this 
semicolon and give the port number so it will be logging here so in this way this is about your rabbit mq installation part is so if you have any problem you can comment below to my video thanks for watching my video please subscribe to cloud network channel